Fuck, he's beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> we are on to the final part of the ultimate guide to ATs. So, in this video, we are going to go through Mingi, Wu Yang, and Zheng Hao. And then we're done. We are learning about these beautiful, beautiful boys. I love them all so much. I still don't have a bias. I don't think, I, I don't know if I will. I don't know how to help people choose. How do you choose? We're gonna get into Mingi, I'm pretty sure is the next one. Let's just jump right in and get to know Mingi. Fix on, if you will. And I will. The princess. Six feet tall. Hell yeah, good for you. ENTP. Cannot relate to that extrovert energy. Don't get it, but okay. Sometimes it gets tough for our teenies too, right? But you overcome it nonetheless. The very first thing I think of when I think of Mingi is that he is the most adorable person on earth. <laughs> Looking at him on Love stage, it. that must sound very strange. No, I can't. But allow me to explain. The <laughs> <laughs> awkward baby. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Correct. At first glance, Mingi does not seem that disparate from the rest of the 99 liners, especially on stage. But Mingi is actually quite shy and reserved. Though he has his own bouts of random shouting and chaotic dancing, especially when he is around the people he loves. Mingi often takes a background role when in a group setting. <laughs> Poor Mingi, <laughs> talk to him, Wu Young. How dare you? No, cut those. <laughs> this is not to say he isn't the brightest person in the world. His smile lights up any dark room, and when he is happy, all is at peace in the world. Mingi takes friendship quite seriously, puts a lot of effort into it, and can get offended when his feelings aren't reciprocated to the same degree. This happens particularly with Yunho, Mingi's best friend of several years. Mingi and Yunho, or Yunji as fans call them, were best friends for four years before joining ATs. Minji was the third member to join ATs. Mingi and Yunho actually auditioned for the company without the other knowing. Another semblance Destiny. of fate working Destiny. to bring ATs together. Mingi is known by the group as the one who is afraid of almost everything. It is quite funny to watch, and ATs takes a lot of pleasure in it. Minji is also known to lie to the point of hyperbole. Seriously, 
he is often claiming things that logically don't make any sense. <laughs> like the multiple times he has claimed he has never been afraid in his entire life. And proceeds to jump out of his skin because something scared him. He has also claimed that he has He's never lost before, even He's though his track record shows he is terrible at Talk games. Many of the lies Mingi tells tend to catch up to him quite quickly. In the behind-the-scenes video of AT's song Don't Stop, Mingi told the camera that he has never been cold in his life, then proceeded to shiver Come because on. it was cold outside. Mingi's nickname is Princess, and he often bounces around when he is happy. So Though in the Just past he was very boy. frivolous, recently you can see a more mature atmosphere around him. Amusingly though, Minji is extremely outdated and does not know how to work a lot of things. He is constantly exclaiming about how far the internet has come. Despite all of this, Minji you? is actually much smarter and more You're serious so than people give him credit for. He has written amazing raps in I practically say, no time, which is me. what he did when he wrote his verse for AT's title track answer. In a hotel room, a day before they had to record it, Mingi also participates in producing eight years now, but though we know he has been working on producing some songs, maybe his own, none have yet to be released. AT's songs, Ooh. and have just like Hongju, Mingi stayed longer in Let Los Angeles after their 2022 world tour to work with and learn from American producers. He writes all of his verses and truly takes the time to express his feelings when he does. Mingi, along with Hong Jun, is on the list of the top copyrighted idols. Like Hong Jun, Minji has a trademark before his rap. Fix <laughs> okay. Your fix is back in the town. What's up? He frequently says the phrase fix on before his verses to indicate to the listener not only that he is about to rap, about but to that they should focus and fix their attention on him. I'm sure one of the very first things you noticed when you listened to an AT song was the guy with the deep voice. That guy is Mingi. As someone who saw him in person, I can confirm that his voice truly is deeper than the Grand Canyon. Oh, <laughs> Mingi also sometimes integrates singing into his verses. So much so, that many people say that all eight members of ATs are great vocalists. Though Mingi is obviously not an official vocalist, this does not stop him from loudly practicing to be the main vocalist of ATs in his free time. Oh, yeah. Mingi is quite the performer, and his on-stage presence is very intimidating and profound. He pulls you in as soon as he begins to perform, and it is very hard to take your eyes off of him. His dance skills are incredible, and it is clear even from afar his obvious talent. <laughs> Something I wanted to make sure I touched on is the fact that Mingi went on hiatus from November 2020 to September 2021 due to psychological anxiety. Fans missed him immensely and everyone, especially ATs, felt his absence the whole time. Mingi's hiatus is why you won't see him in multiple of ATs's music videos and anything else they participated in. Some examples are the official music video for ATs's title track Fireworks and also the entire Kingdom Survival show. But, as is to everyone's now, relief, so Mingi is much better now, and his but break really solidified his importance in the lives of every That's AT. That's first, guys. <laughs> I wonder who controls time. Okay. Here we 
fucking go. It's Wu Yang's time. I'm gonna tell you right now, Wu Yang's a strong contender. Let's pick an outfit to Wu Yang, huh? Here we go. The fox, my favorite animal. <laughs> so already. Yeah, same height. <laughs> I thought I thought William would be short. I thought he'd be like five six, like Chun Bin. So, not that it matters. <laughs> Just as a tall girl, you, my other tall girls get me. You gotta know. Let's be happy. And Have you ever met someone? That may occur. It may occur. If you're happy, then it's okay. Have you ever met someone who deliberately goes out of their way to mess with you all the time, yet you can't help but love them? Then you must have met Wu Young. Wu Young is uncategorically mean, but he somehow is the only one that can flawlessly get away with it. Who's on the bottom there? Dying. Wait, who do we have? Okay. We got Hong Jun, Saw, and Ming Ji on the side. So it's either Yo Song, I forget who I said was on the side. There's Hong Jung, San, Ningi, Jung Ho. And then there's Sun Hua and Wu Young. So it's either Yo Song or You Know. I think it's Yo Song. <laughs> Not my baby. <laughs> Wu Young, how <laughs> fucking dare you? It was Yo Song. <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> there he is. How dare, how dare. Oh! <laughs> Though, Wu Young never does it with the intention of being genuinely mean. And it usually is an indication of how close he feels to you. Wu Young is an expert at a Jio and usually uses it to get away a something Jio. or win a favor. This is especially true when a T's shoot reality show and Wu Young wants the director or staff to grant a special request. <laughs> Wu Young has an extremely distinct laugh that can be recognized from behind a closed door. It is very high pitched and usually accompanied by clapping. It is, in all seriousness, a trademark of Wu Young. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> he laughs with his nose. Wu Young has a smile that makes you want to work hard just to see it. And no matter how much he teases you, you can't help but still love him. <laughs> He's literally everyone's best friend. So. Mm. 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 Oh, Wu Young is extremely loud and loves to be the center of attention. He is a textbook extrovert and flows in and out of conversations with strangers with practiced like. ease. This is oh, why Wu God. Young has the I'm most idle that. friends among the members of AT. He is particularly close to TXT's Yin Jun and Stray Kids Changbin. Something else that you might mm -hmm. notice about Wu Young is that he flirts with everyone. In fact, Wu Young could probably make a robot fall in love with him. He knows the power he holds and has no problem he with using it to kisses. his advantage. I feel like it's always Wu Young but giving kisses. according to Wu Young, he was naturally born that way and does not intentionally flirt. Told him to judge from appearance and guess their bias was, and he said, I think you're mine. Straight up mine. <laughs> All of Wu Young's qualities really make the constant comparisons of him and a fox very accurate. Though it has never been officially said, it is quite obvious that Wu Young's love language is physical touch. Out of all the members, Wu Young is the one to initiate skinship the most. He loves to kiss and hug the members and is constantly attached to someone. More often than not, that person is San. San and Wu Young are extremely close, to the point that they have matching tattoos that say Amicus at ours. A Latin phrase that means, a lifelong partner, or 
a friend to the very end. Their My ship heart. named is Wusan, and unlike other ships in ATs, Wusan actually coined it themselves and are very aware of its fandom. In a fan call with Wu Young, a fan asked what the fandom name for Wusan was. So Wu Young asked San who was, unshockingly, right beside him. They decided on P, which is the Korean word for rain because Wusan means umbrella in Korean. Wu Young is also very close to Yoseng. The two have been friends for eight years now. They knew each other before they joined ATs, when they were trainees at Hybe, formerly known as Big Hit Entertainment. Yo Sang left Hybe and auditioned for KQ. Later, Wu Young left Hybe and followed Ye Sang to KQ because they promised each other that they would debut together. Wu Young said I'm that so if he succeeded, he wanted to do it with Yo Sang, and if he failed, he wanted to fail with Yo Sang. This made Wu Young the last member to join ATs. Hong Jung said that if Wu Young wasn't there, the members would not be as close as they are. And Mingi says that Wu Young is the jewel of the group and completed ATs. Wu Young's skills was evident as a trainee and has become even better in the last three years. Wu Young has put a tremendous amount of effort in elevating his dancing skills. Most people don't know, but Wu Young had an extremely tough time as a trainee, and his audition for KQ was his last try before giving up on his dreams. Now, he has found true confidence in his abilities and even has a studio Kum Artist of the Month to boast of. I don't want to be another that. him. That shit is so over. Finally, you just found yourself a friend. Now. And you run them over ever since the start I saw the end Around the corner cause I know you so well So predictable You're an animal I came I'm watching it. <laughs> Like San, okay, Wu Young okay. also showed up on the list of 100 of the most viewed fan cams of male K-pop idols, with his Artist of the Month coming in as number 41. Though Wu Young is very you. known for his but dancing abilities, like, I think his I'm vocals are nothing you. to scoff at. <laughs> they often whisk you away in a soft Joke. cloud when you hear them. His voice is very light and wispy, and this delicacy is what but makes it so satisfying to listen to him. Wu Young loves to cook and is the member most likely to be found cooking at the dorm. He likes to cook for the members and is always working on his cooking skills. Wu Young is also passionate about video editing and he makes vlogs that record the daily lives of ATs. There are a lot of behind the scenes content, so I suggest you check them out. A stern warning as you get to know ATs more, be wary of looking too long at Wu Young, because he just might make you fall in love. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. I always do something wrong to you, so I'm fine. What? I didn't do anything wrong. I always do something wrong to you, so I'm fine. 
Am I missing the meaning of that? I mean, I am. Somebody explain that to me, please. <laughs> All right. Last but certainly not least, the baby Jung Ho. Let's freaking go. Voice of an angel. Let's get into boss baby, buff baby Jung Ho. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna start calling it. Buff, boss, 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 boss baby. baby. Buff boss baby. I think buff boss baby rolls off the tongue a little bit better. Let's go. The bear. He does look like a little bear. Mm -hmm. For so all intents and purposes, <laughs> Jung Ho is the Hyung of 80s. Though he is the youngest and that. officially the Magni, you can never tell from the way he acts. They love to play office and make the Magni the boss. It's their favorite. Ah, vanilla and coffee. Ah, brand topping. Ah, banana and banana, banana and strawberry and Oreo. Ah, ah, loop. Ah. Oh, oh, hajima, ma! Oh, haji ma! He's a family cutie. Shut it up, we tell you. Oh, I'm not I'm not going to be able to do and Jung Ho acts accordingly. You will often see Jung Ho shushing San or telling him to stop, calm down, or be quiet. This is hilarious considering their ages, but Jung Ho being San's young isn't the only surprising thing. Recently, San and Jung Ho found out that they are very distant relatives because they are both from the giant line of Choi clan. Jung Ho was the seventh member to join ATs. He was actually into sports when he was young, but then later felt a stronger pull to singing. He became a trainee at Top Entertainment for several years, before making the move to KQ and becoming their main vocalist and magnate. They all have so much training before entering KQ. One of the most noticeable things about Jung Ho, even at a quick glance, is his almost somber disposition. While he is the calmest of the group, it should not be mistaken as boring. Jung Ho is very funny and takes joy in exposing other members. Not unlike Yo Sang, Jungo's humor is very underrated and often looked past. <laughs> An example of this is a fan call where Jong Ho gave his excuse for overspending. He said, I didn't want to spend much money while abroad, but I accidentally entered a store and accidentally bought something expensive. Unlike the young, Jung Ho does not love skinship. But all of this makes it even more worthwhile when he shocks fans by making an obvious joke or initiating a hug. But, as his hang status dictates, Jung Ho is great at moderating the arguments of the group and soothing the worries of 18s. 
어쨌든 네, 보고 이게... 싶다는 말 한마디에 페이스타임을 그치. 걸어준 리더 그치. 아, 근데... 그리고 또 리더를 보고 싶은 멤버의 마음 아 그것까지 이런 훈훈한 a t 지의 일상입니다 사실 뭐 작업을 할때 누가 Quite 또... like unlike Minji, <웃음> Jongo is the complete opposite when it comes to fear His unchanging countenance in the face of things that make most people scream is, like San said, scarier than anything else. It makes sense that Jongo takes on this somewhat protective that, role in the group because he is also the strongest really one in ATs. The video of Jongo breaking multiple apples with his bare hands while singing beautifully went viral. Jongo claims he can beat nothing. every member of ATs in arm wrestling with just one finger. As outlandish as that sounds, I believe him. Just like his adult-like personality, Jongo is obsessed with Americanos, and they are his idea of a dessert. Not only does Jongo not get scared, he is extremely absurd. strong, what but he is good at literally about? everything. I know Often it's like on the first try. Whether it is fruit carving, <laughs> making bamboo rings, or holding a single note without breathing for 1 minute and 28 seconds. Yes, you heard that right. Hello. <laughs> this is only <laughs> right as the Magne on top, a title that was given to Jongho, due to his vast ability to be amazing at anything that he does. Jongho is also known as the best vocalist of the fourth gen. But, though he is a fourth generation idol, his singing mastery rivals Sunbanians and experts alike. It definitely does. He's freaking ridiculous. Just when fun, people so listen to ATs' songs, they often hear an almost angelic sound. Some even mistake his voice for an instrument when they first hear an ATs song. Because it is very hard to fathom a human being hitting such notes so perfectly. <laughs> His vocals have stupefied experts, peers, some Benims, and even the most weathered Atinis. They almost make no sense and don't seem physically possible. Sometimes, he even sings in a female register, which is much higher than a male's. In Atis's very first performance on Immortal Songs, which was also their first win, Jango dumbfounded the experts, judges, and audience by hitting six consecutive notes without stopping. Jesus Christ. It was the performance of a lifetime. Oh, this one is so fabulous. Not the performance, but just this clip. Absolutely ridiculous. Jongo then coupled this feat by doing it again and hitting four consecutive high notes. In A.T.'s performance of Wonderland Symphony No. 9 on the survival show Kingdom, Legendary War. This accomplishment becomes even more amazing when you discover that. When Jong Ho performed this song at one of A.T.'s American concerts, his microphone stopped working right before he was supposed to sing. But he didn't let that stop him and ended up singing without a microphone. His voice was so strong, loud, and clear that the melody reached even the highest seat in the venue. Fans were shocked to say the least. Jong Ho is constantly improving his vocal abilities and like some of the members. He stayed back in Los Angeles after Los the 2022 Angeles. tour. He used this time to learn and train with vocal experts. Being good at everything includes performance. 
Jiang Ho's strong, flawless vocals are paired with intense facial expressions that display the quality in which he sings. Most people don't notice or recognize Those this eyes, because of their damn. laser like focus on his voice, <laughs> but Jiang Ho is also a standout dancer. She's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of He has a very intense stare. Somehow, I would be so intimidated. I think the one member of Jungo ET that would intimidate me the, the teddy most bear is or gummy bear. Either way, he is a bear, and he's he has quite his vocal fine with ability, that. And just like, if you are ever frustrated that you aren't good at something, you know? just remind yourself that it is okay, because you're not Jungo, and there is literally nothing you can do about that. Yeah. You don't know the results without trying, so keep your chin up and challenge. I'm sure you will succeed. I have mentioned the demon line three times throughout this video. The demon do line is very well known in 18 do and it consists of Hongju, Songwa, and San. The reason for this moniker is the fact that the second a performance starts, their entire countenance and persona changes, and it looks as though they are possessed. Yeah. While this aids in creating Just some of the Hongjun. best performances you have ever seen, it is quite noticeable, and 18ies love to point it out. After all of this, thank you for coming, thank you for staying, and thank you for getting to know our boys. Oh, I love them. ぼんろぐぐちゅんよさんよんやっこよんにょんなんにょせよいぼんはんごかんがんごんさとライブかんそんとぶいろぐエンディングまっこいんなんすねえいてしよさんみたよじゅんせがエンディングをちょっとち
awareness doesn't feel like the right word. <laughs> it feels like I'm talking about an illness, but you know, bring more people into the fandom or at least to like acknowledge the skills of ATs. Even just like with me, with starting to react to ATs, I knew I was gonna love ATs. I knew that they were gonna get me. I knew it from day one. But how all of the ATs that have commented or subscribed have been so supportive of me getting into ATs and so helpful and like thank you been like thank you for you know looking into them thank you for reacting to them like all of this I'm like you guys I was gonna do this anyway <laughs> you don't have to thank me I was already in love from Kingdom I just need to know more but that's where we're gonna end the video I will be back with more ATs I'm not sure what it will be yet but I'm still collecting TikTok recommendations, so if you have favorite 80s TikToks that you think I should watch, tag me in them. This is my TikTok, blah, 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 blah. Tag me in them and I'm gonna do a video reacting to 80s TikToks. You can send me your cute TikToks, your funny TikToks, not so cute TikToks. I'm also going to be doing a TXT reaction because I think it was in the last video where I mentioned that I don't know anything about TXT really and I want to get into TXT. Um, I know Subin and I think I'm in love with him. I think he's my future husband. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Um, if you want to see more ATs reactions, I'm going to start doing some vlogs once I get a life. K-pop related content. It's basically, you know, it's going to be mainly K-pop related. You can subscribe, you can turn on notifications if you want. You're on YouTube, you know how it works. Like if you like the video, comment your favorite things about Mingi, Woo Young, and Jungko. I want one, two, three. Mingi, Woo Young, Jungko. Because <laughs> that's what I've been doing for the other members of this video what of these videos what <laughs> that's what i've been doing okay and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching bye